all to the next session on know how series this video is about the different modes of operation involved in an n mos transistor the typical construction of an n mos transistor is shown here there are two major classification of mos transistor one is enhancement mode mos transistor and depletion type transistors under each category we again have two broad classifications one is n type transistor which is denoted as n mos where the majority charge carriers are going to be electrons and the other category is p type transistor which is denoted as p mos where the majority charge carriers are going to be holes the other classifications of enhancement and depletion mode p mos and n mos transistor categories and its symbols its significance and its applications are shown in a separate video and the video link is shared in the description box below please do watch that video for better understanding of different types of mosfet and its application let me just give a quick overview on what is the overall construction of n mos transistor basically it is a metal oxide semiconductor device which is of four terminals one is source gate drain and the last terminal is going to be body bulk or substrate terminal it is fabricated by superimposing layers of conducting and insulating materials each mos transistor consists of a stack of silicon wafer called as body bulk or substrate an insulating layer of silicon dioxide and the gate gates of earlier transistors were fabricated from metal so the stack was completely called as metal oxide semiconductor or mos transistor where here it is denoted as n mos transistor and that is the reason we have heavily doped n type doped source and drain regions and p type substrate the vice versa happens for a p mos transistor the current flow in a mos transistor is controlled by a voltage applied to the gate hence it is otherwise called as a voltage control device as mentioned earlier between these two heavily doped n plus source and drain regions we have a p type diffused body here there will be a formation of channel and we are going to see how the channel formation is going to be induced by the applied gate voltage above the oxide layer a polysilicon layer is deposited which is the gate because of the insulation layer the gate and the channel which has to be formed are electrically isolated and hence no current flows from the gate to the channel or vice versa and similarly source and drain are physically equivalent and interchangeable the plus symbol in the source and drain indicates that they are heavily doped regions the body is typically grounded the gate is the control input that controls the flow of current between source and drain a p mos transistor is just the opposite consisting of a p type source and drain and an n type body in a cmos technology which uses both type of transistors the body could be either n type or p type now let us go in detail about the different modes of operation which is involved in an n mos transistor before that we need to understand one very important term which is called as the threshold voltage the very first parameter of interest in the operation of a mos transistor is the threshold voltage which is defined as the gate voltage at which a mos transistor starts to conduct which means it is going to be the minimum amount of gate voltage that has to be applied for which the transistor starts to conduct or it is going to enter into an on state condition and it is also defined as the gate voltage at which a strong inversion occurs so only after a sufficient amount of gate voltage is applied with that sufficient amount of gate voltage is called as a threshold voltage only after that particular voltage level is retained or attained we have the strong inversion or an inversion layer is formed between the source and the drain regions 
and this voltage is going to be positive for an nmos transistor and negative for a pmos transistor the value of threshold voltage depends on various number of parameters some of the parameters are going to be gate material doping gate material channel doping what is the thickness of silicon dioxide the impurities at the interface of silicon insulator and the voltage between source and substrate now we will move on for the exact topic which is the different modes of operation involved in a mos transistor this is a simple mos structure here the p type substrate will have the majority charge carriers as holes and the body is completely connected to ground the gate is the control input so here we are going to vary this gate voltage and observe how the behavior of mos transistor is going to vary first let us consider that the applied gate voltage is going to be negative which means it is less than zero so it is very obvious that we have a pile up of electrons at the polysilicon gate layer because it is connected to a negative voltage so the charge carriers present here are going to be electrons and the mobile positively charged holes are present here so what happens is when we have vg less than 0 which means the negative voltage is applied obviously when a negative potential is applied here the positive charged carriers which are holes are going to get attracted at near the surface of the channel which means exactly beneath the silicon dioxide layer because there is no sufficient potential here to cross this sao2 barrier and mingle with this electrons so therefore this you call it as an accumulation mode because here the positively charged holes gets accumulated right beneath the silicon dioxide layer because of the negative voltage applied at the gate top now we will vary the gate voltage how we are going to vary is we are going to apply a very small positive voltage which is greater than 0 and less than your threshold voltage so what happens when a small positive voltage is applied to the gate is here we have the positive charge that is built in the polysilicon gate layer and the p type substrate is also positively charged because the majority charge carriers are again holes so therefore what happens positive charge here positive charge here so therefore there will be a repulsive force so what happens is when a positive voltage is applied at the gate the holes in the body are repelled from the region directly below the gate so whatever accumulation mode we have seen in that we had the accumulation of holes beneath the surface now what happens when we slightly increase the gate voltage which means a very small amount of positive voltage when you apply there is a repulsive force and the holes are repelled from the region directly below the gate this results in the formation of depletion region below the gate and hence it is named as depletion mode of transistor now we are going to apply a slightly higher voltage which means a positive voltage which is greater than the threshold voltage so now what happens the holes are actually repelled away from the gate and some free electrons which are the minority charge carriers that are present in the p type substrate because the p type the majority charge carriers are holes they get repelled because you apply a positive voltage but the p type substrate also has a minority charge carriers which are electrons so when you apply a positive voltage which is slightly higher than the threshold voltage what happens is it tries to attract the minority charge carriers which are electrons that are attracted to the region below the gate to form a conductive layer and this conductive layer of electrons in the p type body is called the inversion region and there is also a presence of depletion region because only a small amount of minority charge carriers gets attracted and therefore the remaining portion will be as a depletion region and this inversion region is very important because that is going to help us in the conduction or in the movement of charge carriers from source to drain so far we have seen three different modes of operation of mass transistor one is accumulation mode then another one is depletion mode 
and the last one is the inversion mode where we have finally created a conductive layer of electrons in the p type body in the next video we will catch up with the three different regions of operation of mos transistor always it is very important to understand the three different modes of operation before we learn the different regions of operation so catch you all with another interesting video on mos transistor until then thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel